Yellowstone supervolcano, strong magnitude 3.5 earthquake, 10 miles deep. And four hours later, we had a 3.6 magnitude striking Oklahoma. I'm not saying they're connected, it's just that Oklahoma also had a very strong quake. Let's take a look at them together so you can see what's happening. Here we are size with Berkeley. This is Yellowstone right here. This is the Oklahoma earthquake, but we'll take a look at that later separately. It's basically in Idaho on the flank of the park. Let's take a look at the details. Four people have reported it, even though it's an area that is not at all populated and it's so cold that you don't have anybody there from what we see from the uh, Old Faithful web live webcams. As you can see the population density, there's nobody there. Okay, this is Yellowstone Lake. This is Hebgen Lake, where we had the 1959 7.3 magnitude earthquake. And basically, Hebgen Lake is the border of Montana with Idaho, outside of the park boundary. Park boundary is around there. And this is outside of the park boundary at 3.5 magnitude at a depth of 15.9. That's about um, 10 miles depth. And we know that the magma chamber roof is at a depth of 3 miles. So that's pretty deep for Yellowstone, as you can understand. And we've had more quakes there as well today. The blue is for today's quakes. The red is for the past hour. We see the past hour we have had on the west coast, uh, even though they seem to be a lot less today. Okay, and the next one that we had was 1.3, Lima, Montana, a little bit more northwest. And that was more towards the Snake River Plain. Of course, it wasn't felt because it was so small, but that's over here, more northwest of the larger one. So the larger one was around here, 3.5 over here, and this one was the uh, 1.3. This was about six hours later. One point three, as you can see, that's all along a fault as well, and um, the other one was around the closer to the Snake River Plain. Uh, you can see this is a volcanic area. That's lava flow right there, right there, and it's pretty big when you consider how close it is to the west coast. That's the west coast right there, and that's it right there. This is Seattle. As we remember, we have the crack there, the crack that goes from Vancouver Island through Seattle, through Yellowstone, all the way through continental U.S. to Madrid, uh, New Madrid Seismic Zone, and that's the big crack, that's 2,200 miles meeting the New Madrid Seismic Zone, which is another crack towards the northeast, sweeping on the border of Lake Erie, Lake Ontario, and the St. Lawrence Seaway. That's already open there anyway. And this is where we had our very recent quake swarm in uh, Cleveland, Ohio, right here. Cleveland, Ohio's quake quakes are on the uh, real foot rift zone of the New Madrid seismic zone, which is basically should be called New Madrid's rift zone, from what the geologists are telling us. 
So this is the 3.6 Oklahoma quake, is right here. Let's go and see that as well. Let's go and see that as well, right here. As you can see, we've had quake swarms here as well. They're ongoing, Pawnee, Oklahoma. And uh, this, as we said before, is the mid-continental rift. 26 people felt this. Let's go to Ariel so we can see this much better. That's the shake map, as you can see. And uh, population density. Yes, it is very. And, of course, they don't know much of the... Uh, fault areas there. That's no surprise, but it, as we said before in the previous videos concerning the quakes here, this is the Kuinan fault. This here, the Lake Superior. Lake Superior is a very deep uh, rift. It's a failed rift valley as well, and it goes the Superior and Yellowstone were at one point much closer together and this is this was rifting this was rifting here this is the superior rift the Kuinan fault and that's the mid-atlantic rift taking in these this area and uh, it's a rift again it has to do with the rift of course they have not mapped the faults because uh, oh, oh uh, uh, all right we know we have magma under yellowstone the magma comes from the west, from the Baja Peninsula there. It feeds, it's like a Y, and it, it bodies like a Y splitting into two arms. One arm goes to the west, feeding the high threat volcanoes of the west coast, and the other arm goes into uh, under Yellowstone. There is also a magma body here, as we usually see in the rift valleys, for example, in Africa. The Africa, the Great Rift Valley in Africa, is rifting because there's a magma plume under there, pushing up and rifting uh, the areas. And there's, look, as there's, of course, all you can see the very big quakes there. We have uh, lakes there and also, of course, uh, volcanoes. A lot of big earthquakes, volcanic activity, and lakes. Lakes at the rifting, as you can see here. And at one point in the future, it's going to split off. The same thing is happening here. Okay, we have the real foot rift, rifting. We have the mid-continental rift. That's the actual name of it. And um, the uh, geologists have told us, if you look back at one of the uh, videos on this, the geologists have told us that we have a... Uh, magma body there there's a magma plume under here and they don't know where the magma is coming from they have no clue where the magma is coming from but they knew that they do know they have a mantle uh, a magma plume there uh, from the mat there had they have a hot it's a hot spot with a mantle plume and that's what's causing the rift now um we do we do have lakes here as you can see and we do have lakes here as, rift, as well as you can see in this rift, rift valley, failed rift valley, the real foot rift zone, New Madrid seismic zone, and another rift valley here. So basically, the, the continent is splitting into three. The east coast here, the east, the central here, and this part here. So you can see an imaginary line here, that's one rift, mid continental rift the New Madrid seismic zone, the real foot rift. And um, we have an increase of quakes here in this area here, and Kansas as well. Recently we've had earthquakes, houses shaking, rattling, very loud boom sounds. People have uh, stated that they feel as if there's, um, there's Kansas right there. So basically the same area. Um, we only have quakes here showing through the past week. And uh, we do have volcanoes here in Kansas, volcanoes, which means that there's 
magma underneath, and they're kimberlite volcanoes which spit out diamonds, gems, and pretty precious, uh, semi-precious stones. And uh, that's not surprising because this is a rift valley, the mid-continental rift. So that's uh, surprising that we have such a big quake here, 3.6. And it's very surprising that we have the 3.5 here. I don't know if uh, Michael Poland, who comes out with his uh, Caldera Chronicles uh, in a couple of hours, today that is, will make a mention of this. We'll have to see. We'll have to wait and see what he will tell us. So I'll leave links below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. In Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.